Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Gemma. I'm a content creator based in Ontario, Canada. Guys, you're welcome. If this is your first time, please don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel. You can also turn on the bell notification so as to get notified whenever I post a video. So, um, in today's video, we're going to be looking at this pathway of um, getting a work permit to come into Canada. Um, employers in Canada are looking for people to work, um, to come and work for them. And Global Stream, um, Global Talent Stream is one of those ways to come into Canada through work permit. Okay, it's one of the ways and the fastest ways. In fact, the processing time is actually 10 days. That's how fast it is. It's actually 10 days. Okay, but this, um, this Global Talent Stream have a specific occupation. They have a specific occupation list that you have to fall under, okay? Um, as at last year, it was actually um, 12, but they added extra 5 to the occupation, so making a total of 17. So we're going to be looking at that. I made a video about this um, sometimes ago. Um, I would, I'll search for the video and put it in my description, okay? So we just want to look at these 5 new eligible occupation to this program okay so and the good thing about this program is that employer does not even need LMIA no age limit okay so this program is a very very good one so we are going to look at this program to see where your own occupation falls under so I just opened it I'm going to be leaving everything in the description this link now that I opened I will leave it in the description and we just look at everything about this program okay so this is a global talent stream and adds five new eligible occupation to the program. So they expanded the um, global stream to a variety of eligible engineering positions. On December 22nd, Employer and Social Development Canada ESDC expanded the list of eligible occupations in the global talent stream. So this is when they added it, December 22nd. ESDC is a government uh, department that works to support um, Canada's labor force and so as oversight over many immigration matters, including, uh, including insurance of labor market internal assessment, LMIES, and oversight of the GTS, that is Global Talent Stream. A work permit program with expedited processing created to help Canadian um, employers hire foreign skilled um, workers in technology sector. Under this GTS, employers looking to hire a foreign skilled worker for one of the 17 in-demand professions, including due to insufficient labor supply in Canada, can apply and receive a work permit. The GTS looks to establish um, a service standard of two weeks of work permit. Okay, previously it was 12, like I told you guys initially that it was 12, and they added 5, making 17, and they are all engineering rules. So we are going to be looking at these 5 engineering rules that were added. One of them is Civil Engineering, NOC, NOC Code 21300, 21300, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, NOC Code 21310, uh, Mining Engineering, NOC Code 21330, Aerospace Engineering, NOC Code 21309, and computer engineering except software engineers and designers which is no code 21311 so why have more occupation become eligible so this is why they added more occupations the list of eligible occupations for gts changes according to canadians labor market in the labor market needs the inclusion of these five new positions is likely telling of the internal need for engineering labor in Canada. This year, this year has also seen a growing trend of, target, of targeting specific op occupation um, for immigration to more directly address Canada, um, more directly address Canada's labor market needs. Among all these measures include the introduction of the new Brunswick Critical Work Pilot Program which um which work which works with six employers to directly 
um, address new Brunswick labor market. I made a video about this. The removal of barriers to permit um, residence for physicians and um, just go through all this. We just um, we just want to go into the key point. Let's go to the Canada website. Just read through this thing, this ones, and the reasons why they added the five ones. So um, going through the um, Canada website, let's go through the eligible eligibility for this global live stream. Let's go to eligibility. You may be eligible for category A of this global talent stream if you have been referred to a global talent stream by one of the stream designated partners and if you are hiring an individual with unique and specialized talent. Note that if this request occupation is included on the global talent occupation list, it will be processed as a category B application and must meet category B requirements. So um, let us look at the global talent occupation list. These are the list. This is the five, um, one, two, three, four, five. This is actually the five that were added to the 12th list, previous list before. And um, should we go and um, read up? Let's should we read up all the list. Okay, let's read it up. Um, computer and information system manager, prevailing wages. This is the prevailing wages and minimum wage. Should we look at the prevailing? Let's just click on the prevailing wage. Oh, it took us really far. Okay, let's just go back. It, uh, the details is very long. I wanted to take us to the prevailing wages, but let's go back. We'll go. We will get to that. Okay, we'll get to that later. So, computer and information system manager, civil engineering. Electronic, uh, electrical and electronics engineering, mining engineering, aerospace engineering, computer engineering, except so software engineering and, de and designers, mathematician and statistician, and um, position for um, statisticians, mathematics and statisticians, um, information system analyst and um, consultant. These are the previous ones that were there before. Data analyst and data administrators, software engineer and designers, um, computer programmers and um, interactive media developer, web designer and developer, electri ele electrical and electronics engineering, technologists and technicians, computer network technicians, NOC 2021 occupation, computer network and web um, technicians, information system and test um, testing technicians, producer technician, creative and artistic um, directors and um, project manager, visual effects and um, video games, and um, digital media designers. And um, these are the um, um, 17 jobs, okay, that we are in the list now. These are the 17 global talent occupation list. So if you know you fall under this list, just do well to um, go ahead with the process. So let us also read up um, the processing fee. Okay, let's go to the processing fee for this. That is the processing fee, right? You must pay $1,000, that is Canadian dollars, for each position requested under this global um, talent stream to cover the cost of processing your application. The processing fee payment in Canadian dollar can be made by Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Certificate Check, Money Order, Bank Draft. And the processing fee will not be refunded if your application is withdrawn at your request cancel or if your um, application receives a negative assessment refund are issued only if a fee was collected in error the processing fee cannot be paid by nor be recovered from the temporary foreign worker you can see that 
so it's non-refundable there are um, there may be varieties of fees and costs incurred in the process of recruitment recruiting temporary foreign worker including but not limited to cost of using a third party representative advertising fee fee paid by foreign nationals for assistance with finding or securing an um, 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 employment fee paid by an employer for assistance or advice in the hiring of foreign nationals as an employer you must confirm and ensure that you or anybody uh, rec uh, recruiting on your behalf does not charge or recover any recruitment fee directly or indirectly for the temporary foreign worker failure to do so will result to a negative LMI decision. These are for the employers. Okay, so just read up about this program, and um, if you know you fall under this category, um, this is an opportunity for you. This is an opportunity for you if you fall under this category. Okay, I just um I just brought a notice to this so that you guys can just read up. It's a very long one. So at your leisure time, I'm going to be leaving. Um, I'm going to be leaving. Um, the what is it called? I'm going to be leaving the link in the description. Let's look at the wages. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking. At, I'm looking for the wages. I just open it right now. Um, I don't want to be true. I just want to go to the key point. Yes, I look at. I lighted it. So you won't be paying no less than thirty-eight point forty-six per hour. And annually eighty thousand annually, okay. Uh, yeah. So so be through all the process and um check if you are um what is it called if you um fall under any of this category and do what to apply application takes only 10 days 10 days that's a very quick one thank you guys for watching if you watch up until now um do it to subscribe and like and share my video and turn on the bell notification so as to get notified whenever i post a video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye